Uh, and, and, um, as you can see, <laughs> I'll start with that. As you can see, welcome back to the Scrapkin Diaries. Today, I've swapped Ricky for Mickey, and he's brought some customers down this morning to, to view our tourist shear as one of the finest and most highly maintained machines in the country. Not more you can say than that, really. <laughs> In fact, it's uh, well looked after, maintained, and yeah, a good uh, machine for us to use to show how brilliant they are. Brilliant they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah just... that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were we the first? We we, we, we Taurus UK's first customer. Uh, Taurus UK uh, second. Second. Second, customer. U, second customer. Uh, third customer actually. Third. Yeah. Cool. Sorry. I want to say one of the Third first. Third time lucky. So as one of uh, Taurus UK's first customers, uh, we've said to Mick from day one that if you've got any more future potential customers, that is more than welcome to come around, view our machine, and then we can give him a little sales pitch on your behalf of how good they are. Because at the minute, with what, it's April? Yeah. Three and a half months in. Three and a half months, yeah. And I mean, last week we did, we did just under a thousand ton of one and two, just off the tax scrap. So the machine is eating everything and it's so much quicker than the old Lafort. It's just fantastic. We can't praise it enough. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, no worries. <laughs> In the UK, this is the only machine that we've got running with an operator. Um, gives you at least a minimum of 20% more production um, and just works for everyone. Maintenance wise, second to none. Um, yeah. Pays for itself having just somebody run it and watching everything that goes into it and like you can't beat human eyes at the end of the day can you no safety wise it's excellent if there's a fire he's on it straight away yeah so everything about it so hands down and as mick always says if it ain't churning it ain't earning isn't that right mick definitely <laughs> thank right, you very much cheers up. oh is that case? i'm off already um, <laughs> off to another customer gonna sell us about nine more machines now the back of this one No face, no case. So, well, we have to be very quiet because James, our uncle, who works here to, to, to the, James, our uncle, who works here a couple of days a week, has managed to get himself an actual TV show, The Dream, wink, channel in anything. <laughs> yes. Um, You've already been on one, though. What? You've been on TV. What, that Discovery? Nah, fantastic, that was. The motor took two days and two weeks. <laughs> yeah, you started cutting it, you fucked it up, man. You, you oversold yourself, that's what you did. Since the Strapkins came, we've still got this massive motor in the yard, yeah, which the hopefully has got like 20 to 30 grams with the copper in that are one off. Yeah. So we need to do what? what's the next stage of, of stripping it? Taking these steel sheets off. St steel sheets, yeah. That, that's it then, and obviously it's basic cleaning it, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, it's all for the show, isn't it? Does it? The drama. Yeah. Yeah, quite. Anyway, so Jamie is filming for uh, his show, which is coming out at the end of the summer, and his camera crew, not as good as Will, wanted to sh just basically go around our yard with him and explain what he does in his daily life, which is very, very interesting. Although, big budget, big budget TV programme, and he's only got one cameraman, the same as us, you know what I mean? Oh, there you go. No one does a lot of scrap things. What's happening, else? Don't starve. <laughs> I have already done a welcome back to Chuck and Darlings because we started it with Mickey Coots. So you can say now, Rich, I'd like you to say, um, now, you've got, now, now you've not got Mickey, you've got Ricky. No. Wait, you just left? So what? I'm not taking the piss out of the side. You're not taking the piss? Ricky. I'm not acknowledging Ricky. I mean, you just say. Mickey's one. No, you're not Mickey. Don't you f***ing there. You all right? I'll have it. No one in the Senate. I've got his empty to make sure you make You f***ing slag. And thanks, mate. What is it? Just... And... I don't know. Oh, right. I'm having it. What is it? Blood press. Oh, you Where is it? That's all you 
Nou, dan gaan we zo nog wat lang pressen. And where is it? Where's your high vis? Put it on. Yeah. Such a good. You look like you're struggling. That's easy, man. Rep me clothes now. Seb, where you been? Where you been? Scrapping. No, no, no. I want a constant Yeah. That time they say, I don't like that. Have you been back to Cheltenham since? Huh? Been back to Cheltenham since? No. Was that a one time wonder? Did you have a good time? Yeah. You went wild. I can't even remember why he got sacked. You're you fair place for me to come back. He is the, he is the chief officer of HR and staff. Okay. You have to speak I to Richard. I do prices, Richard does staff. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, we thought we would cover today ferrous metal. Now, Rich loves licking rusty spoons, right? So he said, oh, hang on. We've got to move out of the way for the proper cameras. You know what I mean? How do you get some angles like that, Will? No, you're useless, you are. You're just upright mm, all the time. Look, just stretch your jeans on. I can't even get that low. 100%. Went for tomorrow, mate. Yep, mate, I'll see you in the morning, no worries at all. Cheers, mate, thank you, bye. Bye, oh, bye. Oh, friends. Oh, friends. Can you tell the viewers? You've got to get my number on that. I don't want to be on. On what? My phone. What? My phone. You don't want your phone? I don't want to be on. We'll go to EA. Go on. Do it, you need to hold your hand. Let me just share some of your phone, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, put, I put my contract on the works bill and obviously Rich was about like, oh, a year ago me. so you know what yeah, I mean? about a year ago and I said to Rich I'll do yours when your contract's up so you get a new fruit like iPhone 14 or whatever I'll, you can swap it over then it's easy not like contract's halfway through up, yeah but you need to go to Ian and do it oh, we're going to do it yeah. oh yeah 14 do yeah, whatever you want it's free you just got to pay for it I want phone I want another work phone as well you know what what's happening oh well wow. What? In the work WhatsApp, so people can. Oh. We can say who can send Ricky the fucking nastiest picture. Go on then. Yeah, man, he loves it. <laughs> Forward to Mexican bandit videos. Can you please tell everyone the difference between light time and sharing? No. Yeah. Light time is light and sharing is heavy. In the background of our videos, you always see a large pile of scrap metal. Now, it all looks the same, really. However, to the trained eye, to the scrap dealer, it is various different grades of steel. The main two that you guys will be... What's he doing? Oh, you can get a hard one, so you can't put it in. That's the target, yeah. Right, oh, the yeah. main two differences between the, the light iron and steel is basically light iron has some sort of contaminants on it and shearing is i would say i'd say unbendable yeah yeah like a girder or a pallet truck something that has contaminants on it i.e a washing machine glass door concrete ballast at the bottom it's not clean scrap correct would you like to show everyone an example Yep, this is a cheering. And that oven there is light iron. Yeah, show Will some light iron. Light iron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one is light iron? Light iron. Light iron. Everything that it's easy is light iron. Yeah? yeah. And then which one is shearing? Shearing. Everything is shearing. What is shearing? 
Radiators, yeah. I would say unbendable. Yeah. yeah. See what I mean? Now, we have household radiators. This one is the, the red gold. This one is this one is red gold. Is it what? Red gold. Red red gold. Yeah, the cup. How much money is here? 120. Almost 100. 20 kilo then? Yeah. No, more than that. It's more? Yeah. It's first time when I find this one. Double one, it's first time double one. Double one. I say each... Like 20 kilos. I, yeah, maybe. 110, 120, no? It's fine. So today is a good day. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's you know? Sometimes maybe good, sometimes yeah. maybe shit. But you must keep going on, you know? Let's see, yeah. Is it, is it easier on the road now? No, no, because too many people do this job, you know. So you must do, you must drive more than before. You must to work, you must to pay sometimes. Diesel is very expensive, you know. And then you gotta split it three ways. Yeah. How far? Like 80, 90 miles. Do you like 70, 80 And how much, how much is on your? Uh, do you get the, um, you got all the licenses and that? Do you ever get stopped by the police? Do you? What do you say? Nothing. They say that they clean my, my garden. <laughs> every day? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, when you're unlucky, you know? Yeah, yeah. How much do you reckon that weighs? You reckon it's 20 kilo, that means like 120 quid. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Okay, you, you, you must, you must, um, Appreciate the lack of effort you're putting in today. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just be a, 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 like in awe of the. Uh... Yeah, I can't talk to these up. Yeah. Why you said more than me today? Don't you? Why don't you? Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. Why don't you show everybody the steel swarf grain of Ferris? Let's go. Where it, where it comes from? Let's go. Let's go, Will. Another ferrous grade is steel swarf. We've got a lot of factories that we service and the material we get from there is steel swarf from the milling machines. So it either comes in this form, as you can see, as you can see, or this more bushy form, as you can see. You like it bushy, don't you? I like it bushy, yeah. That's it. So if you've got any swarf, steel or alley, bring it down. <laughs> Where's it come from? They can't just, oh, how's it made? It how's it like made? Jennifer? The how's it made? The milling machine, which I said. You tell them that! I, I, I did. No, you never. Will, did I say that? Right. When an engineering firm has to make something, it gets a big block of steel, and all the lathes and drills and everything else, this is the byproducts. So, obviously, we supply the skips in these places, which they fill, and we change. Generally, a 12-yard skip will hold between a ton and a ton and a half. Today's rate is 200 pound a ton. So, if you've got any, give us a call. If it's three ton? If it's three ton, it's worth 60 pound. <laughs> what about 4.25 ton? Uh, right. Come on, man. 450 quid. Shut the f*** is. 800 for over four ton. No, it's a 2.4. Two two <laughs> You f***ing <laughs> horrible, <laughs> horrible. Get out of there. Get out of there. No. I made it worse. So, the main ferrous scrap that we sell is one and two. Now, basically, that is a mix of the light iron and the heavy shearing. We mix it together and then we chop it up in our torus and it produces one and two which is worth, it's worth a lot more than the grades unprocessed. We worked it out, we've got to process about 1.2 million tonne of steel to basically pay for the Taurus. And for example,
example, last week we did about a thousand ton of one and two. So it won't take too long. A couple of years, three years, paid for. Bosch, investment. Upgrade, upgrade. So it's roughly meant to be about 80% shearing and 20% lysine for an immaculate grade of one and two. It's very clean stuff. Having such a new yard is everything's like immaculately concreted, so what gets tipped off is what gets picked up and put in there. So, if you are a merchant and you have one and two, today we will be able to pay you £255 a ton. Yeah? Enough today, man. You're not fucking useless. Done. You can finish it off, Rich. Easy. Easy. Here <laughs> now. No, no. I've hurt my leg. In last week's episode, we mentioned the export market. We do several containers a week, and we send these in, some of them, break discs. Today's price is about £320 a tonne. The price has dropped a little bit, so we are holding off selling them. We're gonna stockpile a few. So when the prices go up then, we'll have three or 400 tonne to sell. So if you've got any break discs you wanna get rid of, bring it down. We do believe the markets will go up soon. So we hold off and we hopefully do another it goes up 30, 40 pound a ton. That makes all the difference. It's the difference between a pot middle on Saturday and a Chinese. 20 break discs, bring it down. Did you ever get a break? <laughs> you never get a break in this. Mitchell is the hardest working terrain. <laughs> I know. He is the hardest every day. I know. Six or six. Wait, 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 wait. hang on, sorry. Let's go down and get a time. Richard, out of all the Tyronis, my mother, all the right way to Dancy, <laughs> little junior Archie, he is the hardest working Tyroni I know. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> well, Harry does work very hard. He does. But you never get a break, do you? Just never. never get a, Six days a week. Other than 8,000 break discs. <laughs> is this something about the next generation, JT? They, uh, they work a bit harder. We do, it's built into us. We, we love it. We just, we, we, from an early age, all we see is work. So we just follow suit. And, and just it, work, work, yeah. work. And it has been instilled to us. We've seen, obviously, my parents, obviously, Richard's dad, Russell. And you've got no choice. You've got to get involved. Otherwise, you're going to slip behind. Yep. And, and that's, that is true, isn't it, really? Yeah, it is, yeah. And if, we've got to do it. So, that's it. Richard does a bit more than me. Nah, that's why I look super young. <laughs> easy pipe round. <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah, I had, uh, had round wheels. Richard had square wheels on his body. All these cameras around me, I need a break. <laughs> One of his nine children have found him. Dad, I found a Pokemon card on the way home. Fine, yet yeah, done. <laughs> yes, fine, yep, yeah, no problem. I have something to show you. What? Some lovely granules. Let's go and have a look. They are 98. That's what I thought. Not 99. But that's worth a fortune, isn't it? What are you yeah. doing? Just because you don't brush your teeth doesn't mean you go on the road or the... Let's get on the roof. <gasps> Change that into a beard. Oh, Let's go in my garden, that is. No chance. Hang on your garden. Shop last week. Rich with paint job. Brand finding. That was a good one on the roof. On the roof. Get up there. Please. Great towels. Along with yeah. your other towels. Do you want to buy a little or do you want to cast it? I'm like a customer right now. I was iced to be in a latte. Should we have a place? Kind of. Not a problem. Bought these off our customer this morning. And to me, they're 98% granules. So I priced them accordingly. Sold them. And the customer's phone was saying, the going is 99, so wouldn't they? What do you think? Um, bearing in mind it's worth probably 7,000 quid this bin. To be honest, they're very good 98s, but not quite 99. Because if you look, 
in there, you can see the different flecks of colour. Now, they are good granules, but there's slight alley contamination and the very slight bits of rubber. So I'm going to have to send these in on outturn now, which is a nightmare. We try to pay everybody the same day, you see, so I've got to make a decision on these and pay it, or have a deal with the customer, and hopefully you can wait until tomorrow. But they're not, they're, look, it's definitely nice, eh? Is that your professional opinion? But any granules, best price, go down. <laughs> look, he's even on A1 of them. A1. What's the difference? 98% no, 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 no. granules is money wise, it's probably, uh, probably £100 a ton. But when you're buying like the, the, the high, like, obviously you ain't going to find that in your garden shed. It's going to have to come off a, a merchant or, or a, a processing wire plant. So they know what the score is with the copper prices. You're going to take what, 100, 120, 150 pounds a ton out of this. So at 1.4 ton, if it all goes smoothly, lay out about seven grand, earn 150 quid and wait three weeks for money. So worth it? It's not really, really worth it, but then you do a lot of volume with the customer, then it, it, it you know, works out over time, but it's so small margins to get it correct, and you can not make any money at all, very easily, and then it'll be uh, chicken for Christmas, won't it? Hot noodle. I'll be coming around your it's house. It's another one of Harry's deals, this is. I'll be coming around your house trying to get uh, the scrap. What are these, 110%? 110% <laughs> granules. These actually make copper, these are. That is every scrap man's dream, look at that. Oh my god, if you just tugged off your hand, there. <laughs> <laughs> Some of Richard's kids are all tanked because he's. <laughs> the seat was 90% copper. So yeah, I will. Have a look at that. Show, show, the, show, the, show the viewers, do some B roll. Let's do some sand pouring. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, look, look at Lake, look. He's getting on the pole lift. Fing here now. Ooh. I knew you were going to do it. I can read you too well. You're like a book, you are. You're like a fing page three in the sun. Easy to read. That, uh, there's a famous photo of uh, I think it's the, the, the security guards of. Heisenberg of Breaking Bad lying on a load of money. You seen that? You've not seen Breaking Bad? Well, you've lived under a rock all your life. Well, that's my story over. But to everybody else, if you've seen Breaking Bad and you've got the blokes lying on the pot of money, that's what this is like to me. It's beautiful. And if you take a sample out and go, oh, take that over there and show someone, there's like four quid there. Mad that, isn't it? It's like five quid in my hand, just like that. So, that just shows you, when we talk about turnover and profit margins and things, it's very, very difficult to actually keep it, like, profitable when, you got, uh, when you're buying off merchants. The margins are really tight. That's where we work off volume, and we aim to buy exactly what the customer said. So, for example, if he has said 99% granules, base the price off that. We don't want to do any extra work to it because there's not enough money in it to make any extra work possible. We want to get it, load it up, sell it. All right, the money, there's a money transaction that we might have to wait for, but that's like all the work we have to do to it. So when you think of it that way, it's small margin, but it's easy money. You know what I mean, Rich? I'm just like, you know what this place, you know what this place is like? You know what Wolf of Wall Street, it's all chaos. No, 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 no difference, no difference at all. Apart from, there's just two of us and there's no dwarfs being thrown about. <laughs> Shame, really, isn't it? I think we should fix that one. No, you can't put that in. Why not? People won't like it. Little no. people love it. And if they don't like it, they might punch you straight in the knee. That's what I You like your own jokes, don't you? <laughs> right, so there you go. So what else are you filming now? Why do you just have to cut stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want to say? Uh, do some, uh, make, make like a sandcastle like this. Oh, shut the... No way you can make a sandcastle with that. Oh, I know. Where? Uh, Blackpool Beach. Uh, as you can see. Where's that? Where's that? I had two lads waiting early and they looked at me and went, as you can see, I said, you Is this like? Yeah. As you can see, uh, yeah, I've got the t-shirts we've made. Oh, shut the f oh, really? All the money's going to Birmingham Children's Hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, a picture of me on it? Huh? Just a picture of you on it, yeah. Doing what, though? 
just like that. Oh, thanks. Right, well, say if you're trying to help me. Oh, let's do that. Turn me off. Do that. No, 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 no. $29.99, that's what we're being sold for. All proceeds of your charity? Yeah, all of it, that's fine. They'll cost about what, I don't know, 10 to 15 quid a month. So 15 quid a month. Like, realistically, how 50, many are you going to sell? Yeah, but if it's 50, that's like 600 quid that we can donate to the hospital. Realistically, how many are you going to sell? All of them, it's really 50. One off, one off release. One off release, that's what we're doing, 50. 10, 20 in extra large, 20 in large. What's that, 30? If you're local, pay for it, I'll deliver it. Oh my God, yeah. Nah, but you're only wearing the T-shirt. Only wearing the T-shirt. We'll get you I'll take it off my goods. Just rub yourself in it. Oh. And then another episode idea, but we want to know whether the comments are going to tell us to do it or not. Do you want to see Rich versus me Scrap King Challenge. We've both got transit vans and we both go tatting and see who comes back with the most. No cheating though. Don't tell your pal, don't give Tess 100 quid to leave without a scrap in the corner. You've got to just leave it, you've got to be genuine. No, genuinely. Find what you find. Find what you find. If you find a copper tank, I'll be fuming. What, pre-cut up? Pre-cut up, bang. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't sit down. No, no, 100%, I'll, I'll do it properly. I'll do it fair and square. Yeah, am I? I will. So drop a comment if you want to see us go head to head tatting challenge. Hey, yeah, I've got a question for you. You're gonna have to get up, you're gonna have to come over here. Oh, no. So two things. Two what are you doing? Zulu Warriors. Would you rather a team to only wolf run? One of them obstacle courses. Or a team to only golf day with the nine holes and get pissed. A wolf run. Really? You're all muddy and like sweaty and that. There's one in September. Is it? Oh, well, why'd you pick a cold one? Is that cold? In September, it's always cold in September. Cold or better? It's 10, it's 10k though, and like 20 summer schools. Teamwork, isn't it? It is what it is, isn't it? I'm gonna just fucking let you go first and just <laughs> sign us up then. I'll sign us up. Wolfpack. Or so let them let Remember them I'm off in September. <laughs> Where are you going? Where? Oh, just that day. Uh, the whole of September. Oh yeah. October is a good one, isn't it? I'm off then as well. <laughs> Have a dig, dig in there, tell me if that's 98, 99. 98, I don't need to look at if, it. If you, if you don't find the prize, then you've got to eat it. What? If you don't find the prize, you've got to eat it. No, it's all right, it's only here. This is the forfeit of the weighing challenge next week. The what? The weighing challenge next week. Oh. This is, I bought this last year. It's gone off and it's fermented, it's fermented fish basically. And it's apparently meant to be the world's most highly vile smelling tasting fish ever but it's not oh, a one. no that's the whole that's the, I'll, I'll vomit everywhere apparently in like in helsinki or some mad place like that it's a delicacy don't pop it don't open it is that actually the tin it's, it's a tin that is yeah it's expanded so it's actually blown up yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that rotten it's that rotten it's blown up what's the date on it the date is 2022 2022 so it's like Mate, you all what that is one. it? No, it won't. Yeah, have a little nibble. It's a tin in it, it'll be alright. 2020? No, that's what it was made. 2022? Yeah, that's true. Don't shake it. If that explodes, mate, I won't have to go home for a shower. <laughs> so, look. No. It explode? Is it fish? <laughs> what is it? Explodes your fish? Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, my God. Catch. Fuck you. Oh! Smash <laughs> it up. No, 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 no. No, no. I want to read it. No. No, you're banned. <laughs> yeah. So we've got wolf run, golf, tassin video episode, but we need some love on the channel. 
drop a comment, hit a like, share us, and we'll get all that filmed in the next few weeks. Like, share, and subscribe. Any scrap, get it out. <laughs> drop a comment if you're going to be the first person to buy one of Ricky's t shirts. Ricky T, would you look at that? <laughs> we're told about where the money's going. And we're going to donate all the. We'll, we'll, we'll be very transparent, we'll tell you what the t shirts cost, what you're buying for, and we'll make a big donation to the Birmingham Children's Hospital. Because it's the complete amount. Yeah. Done then, fine. Last week's episode, we mentioned the. Um... Sorry. Well, I'll start again. Yeah, don't put that in your.